This is not a drill. That's what a trauma surgeon told his co-workers early Sunday morning as he called to ask for their help. Shooting victims had poured into Orlando Regional Medical Centers. Many had been shot several times. Some were even dying. Mm. Today, the medical team that cared for the wounded describes the chaos and the courage that went hand in hand that night. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has their story. Today's press conference began with shooting survivor Angel Cologne. He described how he was saying goodnight to friends just after two in the morning when they heard gunshots. He says he tried to run but was shot three times in the leg as the gunman moved from room to room until he was standing over him. I look over and he shoots the girl next to me. And I'm just there laying down. I'm thinking I'm next, I'm dead. So I don't know how, but by the glory of God, he shoots towards my head, but it hits my hand. And then he shoots me again and it hits uh, the side of my hip. Angel Cologne says he survived because a police officer dragged him to safety as the horror unfolded at the Pulse nightclub, just a few blocks away from Orlando Regional Medical Center's Level 1 Trauma Center, where Dr. Catherine Bondani was working. Our first patient was relatively stable, awake and talking to us, and we thought maybe they're all going to be like this. But the next patient was critically injured. The patients just started coming. One came, then another came, then another came. They were being dropped off in truckloads and in ambulance loads where our amazing nurses and techs were putting them on stretchers. Overwhelmed, trauma surgeon Dr. Chadwick Smith began calling for backup. I said, this is not a drill, this is not a joke. We have 20 to uh, plus gunshot wounds coming in. Uh, I need you here as fast as I can. And what staffers saw as they arrived looked like a war scene. We saw the full gamut of wounds from wounds to the extremities, uh, wounds to the chest, wounds to the abdomen and, and pelvis area. Then a lull as the gunman barricaded himself inside the club and then another wave of 20 more patients. The team would treat more than 40 injured, losing only nine. One doctor said it was the worst night of my career and the best night because of the way the team rose to the challenge. I just, I just couldn't express how, it's hard to describe how, how you feel, but I know how they feel. They know how we feel. The way that you guys have taken care of us in this hospital is amazing. Yep. If it wasn't for you guys, I definitely would not be here. Orlando Regional Medical Center is offering counseling to any of its team members who need to talk about what they experienced this weekend. But for now, they are taking care of the remaining patients and proud of the work they did. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin. And an outpost.